So we can share anything off of my Hydros Connor. We want to display everything this thing could do in person and easily accessible. But this is one setup, so we can share devices. We added the feature a few months back because we know service accounts and people that they trust want access to their aquariums. But how much do you trust that person? So we have three la layers. So as a service tech, you want full access or you want to provide your customer with full access. But maybe you trust them, but you don't want them making changes so they can have an override only access. Or if you just met this person first date, it can be a read only access. Just like we have mine right here, I'm gonna switch over and it's easy as selecting which collective you wanna to go to. You'd have a full list right there if you're a service account, expect a good chunk of those. And we can see my tank live right now in Chicago, but I'm not actually able to override anything because I am in read only access at this mode. So they can look but they can't touch. They can look, but they can't touch. What is new since the last time I saw you besides the share? So we've been developing a lot. We've been fine tuning everything, prepping for the future. You know, we're in this for the long haul and we want to make sure everything is internally really good. And R&D is top priority for us. So expect some fun things in the future. But in the meantime, we've just been releasing updates and fine tuning what you're seeing here. So we worked a lot on schedules, dosing schedules, all of our outputs, fine tuning. Um, one of the big things that's changed is now temperature. Obviously you can always have multi-level temperature inputs, but if you have two temperature sensors, and you want to trust both of them, your heater output can be based on two temperature sensors. Small things like that, look for the big picture. So if I'm trusting two sensors and one fails, then what happens? The highest one is red. So we've got all these new capabilities, not only with sharing, but some tweaks in the UI as well. Mm -hmm. But one thing that's often overlooked is TDS. Like, I've never seen a way to monitor TDS coming out of my RODI yeah. unit, other than pressing the button and looking at it on the unit. Now we can do it inside of the hydro. So most of us have an RODI station at home, a mixing station, and they want to monitor it. This is the life source for our aquarium is the water. So we want to make sure that stuff is clean. So if you have an inline TDS sensor that at this moment is reading zero PPM, if that goes above two, we can have decisions based on that. We can apply logic to that TDS. So stop your RODI production if TDS is greater than one, two, whatever you decided to set. Or just send me an alert because most of us we don't test that thing. Exactly. It, the battery dies Who because we haven't that used all it the time. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I can actually get an alert with the inline TDS. Yep. And if you're a service company, you can select that level of alert so you can get those alerts. You can have that be a red alert or a yellow or orange alert. And you can be like, oh, I know I need to be bring RODI resin, carbon filters, sediment filters out to this account. If we're not making RODI water, it just reads zero. Yeah, if it's going to be stale inside of there, it's still clean water, it's still going to be reading zero. Okay. Yeah. So then when it's making water, I'll get a live reading. I don't have to rely on checking that, yep. which we usually don't do. So actually how it works is we can't consistently be pulling those ions closer and reading. You'll start to get a false reading when the power is applied full time. So what we've done is we've turned it on for five minutes every hour. So every hour it's on for five minutes of that. It's going to take a reading okay. and give you that update. An hour goes by, five more minutes, hour goes by, and so on. And can I set it up where if my water solenoid to the RODI unit is on, then take a reading, then potentially send me an alert? Well, the sense port is automatically going to do that already. Okay. Um, so you can, but you can still have your uh, solenoid be based on a whole bunch of different things, including your booster pump. You can have outputs for your booster pump. Uh, you can incorporate that into an automatic flush, if you will. So if you wanted to flush automatically beforehand, that's totally possible. You can do that too. And it's all basic logic, exactly where you want to put it. So you guys are constantly tweaking things. It's shown here. Yeah. TDS meter is something I wouldn't have thought of, and you showed it to me. I'm like, well, why didn't I think of that? Keep going. I want to see what's coming up next. Absolutely. You're teasing me and saying it's something great at MACNA. If, if you are coming to MACNA, Come by the booth, come talk to us, and make sure to watch videos around that time. We, we look forward to having some fun stuff available. All right, All right I'll do it. You say All so, right. I'll do it. Thanks for having Thanks. me. Thanks.